Hello everybody. Welcome to today's session. In today's session we're going to go over what are weeks um what are weak fields and how you can actually identify if the week that's in front of you is actually worth trading like if it's a advantageous you know weak field potential trade so weeks are like for instance this thing right here like some people call it shadows all that so if that sounds interesting please do stick with us until the end don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell notification and share with a few friends the link to this video that you believe will find value in it now let's get it so we're going to start off with what are weeks like you see these these are what are weeks <laughs> some people call them shadows some people call them i don't know i, I only know those two names shadow weeks these are what we call weeks and shadows right um they they are formed when prices push to a certain level and then they are being rejected now the weeks are left behind to show the trace that we were actually here but then prices were actually rejected and now we are being forced to push lower right so for instance in this particular here in this particular scenario um there was a time when prices were actually all the way up here right this candle was actually this big okay it doesn't want to fit but there was a time the candle was actually up here but then before the candle closed prices were rejected were rejected were rejected started went on going lower until they reached down here that's where they closed right so prices indicate rejection from up here now what do weeks indicate weeks actually indicate rejection from sensitive areas right um it's it also applies on in the fact that like for instance you know when you're trading uh or when you're drawing zones trend lines and all that i always advise my students to always be covering the weeks like for instance if you're drawing a, a zone here i'd advise you to put it like this right i'd say you should put it like this here i'm ignoring this last turning point i'm just covering this week this turning point and this turning point you see i've covered the weeks right i've just covered the weeks now how did prices react once they reached on this zone yes prices did try to break above here but then they were rejected and then prices closed back in this zone and then now they look they seem as if they're going to be pushing lower what does this mean this means that this zone is actually very sensitive that is why prices have failed to close above it right now that's the same thing with with weeks next time once prices reach here in this zone next time while prices reach in this zone here it will be very very sensitive this whole zone here will be very sensitive that means prices once they reach here there's a very high chance they'll be rejected right because it's a very sensitive area as we've seen here prices have been rejected now weeks are formed on sensitive areas as we've seen but sometimes in the market people like to trade these weak fields so for instance you see here prices have left a week a person might say okay this week is going to be filled so let us buy so a person will take a trade here a person will buy anticipating this week to be filled so he'll put his take profit somewhere here above the week right this trade is what we call a week fill now people like to sometimes trade like every week but that's very rarely the case like not every week is worth trading the weak fill because not every weak fill trade is actually worth it so how do you differentiate between the trades that are worth trading the weak fills and the ones that aren't now to to know if the weak fill is worth it or not you actually have to go to the lower time frames and see the market structure first we have to understand the um formation of a week how is a week filled so let's assume in this scenario 
in this scenario, prices would have played out this way. They started down here, pushed higher until they reached somewhere up here and then they were rejected and closed somewhere there, right? Now prices are still pushing lower. Obviously, as we can see, prices are still pushing lower. Um, right now they're somewhere here. Now for us to consider, now once prices, okay, let me, let me end here first. Now once prices close here, once prices close here, what it will actually indicate if prices, like for instance, with, let's say this was the move and then prices pushed all the way until up here and then they kind of closed somewhere down here. All of this, all of this up here will be a week. It will leave something like this, right? Now, first thing that you need to actually recognize if you're going to be trading a weak field is to realize what is the trend of the market. Because if the weak field is not aligned to the trend of the market, never take that trade. Most definitely it's going to hurt you because it has already shown rejection and the trend is continuing. But if it's in alignment with the market, with the market trend, then you should take that trade. Because let's assume if this has happened, let's assume this is a bullish trend, Let's assume this is a bullish trend, prices are pushing higher, and this has happened. It has formed a week like this, and then this has happened. What this means is that prices pushed up, were rejected, and then closed somewhere here. But what this means in the lower time frames is that prices are just trending. What it means is that prices created a higher high, and then created a lower high, or a higher low, and then there is a high possibility of prices to create a higher high, right? Because it's going with the trend. Now, prices just happened to close down here and they left a week. But is that the end of the story? No. Prices have a high possibility of continuing with the uptrend. So that means after this week is formed, there's a high possibility that prices will keep on pushing higher if it's in alignment with the trend. Keep that in mind. If it's in alignment with the trend, then you can actually consider this possibility that the trend will continue pushing higher so you can actually pull the trigger. Now, what scenarios shouldn't you take the trade? It's if the trend isn't in alignment with your trend, right? Let's say prices are in a downtrend and then prices reached up here and then a candle closes somewhere here, right? But prices are in a downtrend. What does this mean? Prices will actually have bounced from a resistance here and they have already started selling. So this rejection just indicates that the trend or the bearish trend has begun. And what will actually happen next is a continuation of a sell-off rather than like if it happened on this other scenario where it's actually a bullish trend. So if you're trading a weak field, first things first, what you need to identify is the trend. Is the trend bullish or bearish? And where is the weak? Is it bullish or bearish? Like for instance here, this week right here, we can actually see it's up here, right? But what is the trend? If we zoom out, we can actually see the trend is bearish because we had a high, low, lower high, lower low, and then now this is a possible lower high. So in this type of scenario, what do you think is going to happen? I'd place my money that the trend will actually keep on pushing lower because the trend is bearish. So this just indicates a rejection that prices are going to keep on pushing lower. But if this trend was actually different and the trend was bullish and then this week formed, I'll have placed my bets that the trend is actually retracing on the lower time frames and it's looking for better buying opportunities or better buying volumes and then in order for in, if in order for it to keep on pushing higher right so first things first while trying to trade weak fills always look at the trend identify the trend and then if the trend is in alignment with your weak fill then you can trade it if not don't you dare because you're going to just to gamble your money and lose a lot of money so um yeah guys that's what i prepared for you guys today how to trade weak fields and what they are if you found value in this video please do give us a like 
share, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever we release content. And do share with us in the comments what you'd like us to drop next. Till then, appreciate your time. If you've watched this video thus far, I really love you. Thank you. Take it easy out there. Have a great, great, great weekend. Peace.